Why does the air in Delhi sometimes feel more like a smoky bonfire than a breath of fresh air? Well, welcome to the most polluted city in the world. Delhi's air pollution crisis has become a year-round nightmare, with its infamous winter smog turning the skyline into a hazy gray blur. A cocktail of vehicle emissions, industrial smoke, construction dust, and agricultural burning from nearby states sends pollution levels soaring. But the real kicker? Every winter, millions of farmers burn leftover crop stubble, releasing an enormous wave of toxic particles into the atmosphere. Combined with cooler temperatures and stagnant air, these pollutants become trapped, creating the dreaded smog blanket that suffocates the city. The numbers are staggering. Delhi's air quality index frequently crosses the hazardous 500 mark, while WHO guidelines recommend levels below 50. Citizens are forced to wear masks outdoors, schools shut down, and hospitals overflow with respiratory cases. Long-term exposure can lead to severe health issues, including lung disease, heart problems, and decreased life expectancy. Despite efforts like odd-even traffic schemes, industrial regulations, and promoting green energy, progress remains slow. The city is caught in a constant battle between economic growth and environmental sustainability. Until stricter measures and regional cooperation take effect, Delhi's residents will continue to breathe the consequences of unchecked pollution. But the question remains, can the world's most polluted city clean up its act before it's too late? Ever wondered what it's like to breathe in a city where the air itself makes headlines? Welcome to Beijing, China, a megacity synonymous with bustling markets, ancient temples, and unfortunately, a thick layer of smog. Despite its modern skyline and cultural landmarks, Beijing's air pollution has become a global cautionary tale. Do you know who one of the biggest culprits is? Coal. China's reliance on coal-powered industries has pumped massive amounts of sulfur dioxide and particulate matter into the atmosphere. Add to that the relentless traffic of nearly 6 million vehicles, and you've got a recipe for hazardous air quality. During particularly bad days, the iconic Forbidden City vanishes behind a dense gray haze. But it doesn't stop there. Beijing's geography also plays a role. Surrounded by mountains, the city acts like a pollution trap, with stagnant air keeping contaminants lingering for days. This phenomenon, combined with weather inversions, creates what locals grimly refer to as airpocalypse conditions. However, it's not all doom and gloom. In recent years, China has made strides in combating air pollution, stricter emission regulations, large-scale tree planting initiatives, and a growing push toward renewable energy are beginning to show results. While the road to cleaner air is long, the progress is undeniable. So, next time you picture Beijing, think beyond the smog. It's a city on the mend, fighting to clear its skies and reclaim its breath of fresh air, one policy at a time. Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia is a city where winter isn't just a season, it's a trigger for one of the world's worst pollution crises. As temperatures plunge, the city's residents turn to coal-fired stoves and raw coal for heat, releasing enormous amounts of toxic pollutants into the air. With a population of over 1.6 million, Ulaanbaatar experiences dangerously high levels of particulate matter, often exceeding safe limits by several times. The city's infamous winter smog blankets entire neighborhoods, reducing visibility and creating hazardous living conditions. The Gur districts, informal settlements on the outskirts where over half the city's residents live, rely heavily on coal for warmth. Without access to cleaner energy sources, these communities contribute significantly to the pollution problem. Vehicle emissions also worsen the situation. Ulaanbaatar's rapid urbanization has led to a surge in cars, many of which are older and lack emission controls. Combine this with the city's geographical location, surrounded by mountains that trap pollution, and it's a recipe for toxic air. Despite government efforts to introduce cleaner coal and provide subsidies for electric heating, progress has been slow. Health impacts are severe, with residents facing increased risks of respiratory diseases, heart problems, and even premature death. Children and the elderly are particularly vulnerable. Addressing Ulaanbaatar's pollution requires a multifaceted approach including improved infrastructure, wider access to renewable energy, and stricter emission regulations. Until then, the city remains a stark example of how harsh winters and cold dependence can combine to create a severe environmental crisis. What do you think about this? Why does Dhaka, the bustling capital of Bangladesh, consistently rank as one of the most polluted cities in the world? The answer lies in a toxic mix of rapid urbanization, unchecked industrial growth, and a struggling waste management system. 
Dhaka's air quality is often choked by emissions from brick kilns, vehicles, and industrial plants. With thousands of poorly regulated brick kilns surrounding the city, the air becomes thick with hazardous particulate matter, especially during the dry season. Add to that the relentless traffic congestion, where outdated vehicles bletch out black smoke, and you've got a recipe for respiratory disaster. But it's not just the air that's suffering. Dhaka's rivers, once lifelines of the city, are now lifeless canals of toxic waste. Industrial runoff, especially from the garment and textile factories, pours directly into waterways like the Buriganga River. The result? A dark, chemical-laden sludge that poses severe health risks to the city's residents. Moreover, the city's waste management system is overwhelmed by its population of over 20 million people. Open-air garbage dumps and the burning of plastic waste further pollute the air and soil, making the environment even more hazardous. Efforts are being made to tackle this crisis, from stricter regulations to industrial emissions to promoting cleaner public transportation. However, the path to cleaner air and water requires long-term commitment and investment. For now, DACA is a reminder of what happens when urban growth outspaces environmental responsibility. Suppose you wake up to a hazy skyline, the sun barely visible through a thick layer of smog. For the people of Karachi, Pakistan's largest city, this isn't a rare occurrence, it's a daily reality. With over 20 million residents, Karachi's rapid urbanization and industrial growth have come at a steep environmental cost. A major contributor to Karachi's pollution is vehicle emissions. The city's congested roads are packed with aging, poorly maintained vehicles that spew toxic gases. Combined with the lack of stringent emission standards, this creates a perpetual cloud of pollutants. Industries also play a significant role. Karachi's industrial zones, particularly in Karangi and Site, emit large quantities of particulate matter and hazardous gases. Many factories operate with minimal regulation, releasing untreated waste into the air and water. Additionally, frequent power outages mean businesses rely on diesel generators, adding to the city's carbon footprint. Waste management is another pressing issue. Karachi produces thousands of tons of solid waste daily, much of which is openly burned, releasing harmful chemicals into the atmosphere. Poor infrastructure and inadequate waste collection services further exacerbate the problem. Despite public outcry and occasional government crackdowns, enforcement remains inconsistent. However, there are signs of hope. Local NGOs and community-driven initiatives are raising awareness and advocating for cleaner transportation options and stricter regulations. For Karachi to breathe easier, comprehensive policy reforms, investments in sustainable infrastructure, and increased public awareness are essential. Until then, the city's residents will continue to endure the consequences of unchecked pollution as the toxic haze looms overhead. Lagos, Nigeria is a city of extremes where vibrant culture and economic ambition collide with a severe pollution crisis. As Africa's most populous city, Lagos is home to over 20 million people, resulting in overwhelming waste production, chaotic traffic, and unchecked industrial emissions. The streets are filled with exhaust fumes from the notorious Danfo buses and countless other vehicles contributing to the city's thick smog. But the air isn't the only concern. Lagos's waterways, once a lifeline for trade and transport, are now choked with plastic waste and untreated sewage. The lack of a proper waste management system leaves vast amounts of garbage in informal dump sites while residents burn refuse in open spaces, releasing toxic fumes. Additionally, industrial factories operating with minimal regulations further pollute both the air and water. The impact on public health is devastating. Respiratory diseases, skin infections, and other polluted-related illnesses are rampant. For children and the elderly, the risks are particularly severe. The burden also extends to the city's economy, with health care costs and lost productivity mounting year after year. Despite these challenges, Lagos has shown signs of resilience. Local initiatives, like community cleanup drives and plastic recycling programs, are gaining traction. Additionally, growing public awareness is putting pressure on policymakers to implement stricter environmental regulations. The road to a cleaner Lagos is undoubtedly long, but the collective action and sustainable planning, there's hope for a healthier future. The fight against pollution is not just about preserving the environment, it's about safeguarding the city's people and its vibrant spirit. Imagine waking up to a skyline shrouded in a thick haze, the iconic mountains barely visible through the smog. Welcome to Mexico City, a metropolis where pollution levels often soar beyond safe limits. With over 20 million residents and millions of vehicles clogging the roads, the city's air quality suffers under the weight of emissions from cars, buses, and factories. 
The city's geographical layout doesn't help either. Surrounded by mountains, Mexico City sits in a valley, trapping pollutants and preventing their dispersion. This phenomenon, known as a thermal inversion, leads to a toxic buildup that chokes the air. On especially bad days, authorities enforce driving restrictions, halt industrial activities, and advise people to stay indoors. But it's not just the vehicles and geography. Illegal burning of waste, outdated public transport, and reliance on fossil fuels all exacerbate the problem. Respiratory issues, cardiovascular diseases, and premature deaths are tragically common in the city due to prolonged exposure to polluted air. Despite the grim reality, efforts to combat pollution persist. The government has expanded public transport, promoted electric vehicles, and implemented stricter emission regulations. Additionally, initiatives like Hoino Circula aim to reduce traffic congestion and emissions. However, the battle against pollution remains uphill. Without sustained efforts and investments in green technology, Mexico City will continue to struggle with its choking smog. For its residents, the dream of clean air is still just that, a dream. But with determination and innovation, there's hope for a healthier future. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in a city where the air itself seems toxic? Welcome to Norilska, Russia, one of the most polluted cities in the world. Located above the Arctic Circle, Norilska is a hub of industrial activity, particularly nickel production. While the city's factories power the economy, they also emit a staggering amount of sulfur dioxide, covering the landscape in a haze of pollution. The consequences are as bleak as the gray sky. Residents often experience chronic respiratory issues and acid rain has stripped vegetation from the surrounding tundra. Studies suggest that life expectancy in Norilska is significantly lower than the national average, a harsh price to pay for industrial progress. Norilska Nickel is one of the largest producers of nickel and palladium globally. The company's smelting facilities spew millions of tons of pollutants into the air each year. Attempts at environmental reform have been slow and challenging, with economic reliance on the industry complicating progress. But amidst the gloom, there are glimmers of hope. Recent pledges by Norilsky Nickel to invest in reducing emissions offer a potential path to cleaner air. Locals and environmental activists continue to advocate for stricter regulations and transparent environmental practices. Norilsky stands as a stark reminder of the cost of industrial ambition. The question now is whether the city can strike a balance between its economic lifeline and the health of its people. Only time will tell if the skies over Norilsky will clear once again. Which city's pollution crisis shocked you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know how we can work together to create a cleaner, greener future. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.